Hi everyone, so today I'll be showing you how to make barfi. So to begin, to a large bowl, add in 500 grams of milk powder. To this, also add 150 ml of tin dessert and cooking cream. You want to mix this until it just resembles bread crumbs. The mixture now resembles coarse bread crumbs and I'm now just going to leave this uncovered for 2 to 3 hours. So 2 hours later the mixture should look dry as you can see. So I'm going to take small portions of this and add it to a blender. You can use a coffee grinder as well. And I'm just going to blend this until the mixture is just fine. So I have blended everything and as you can see the mixture is now much finer in texture. So let's begin making the barfi syrup. To a pot add in 1 cup of sugar, 1 cup of icing sugar, 80 grams of butter, 2 thirds of a cup or 170 ml of room temperature water. We are going to add this to the heat and just allow it to come to the boil. Once your syrup comes to the boil, you are going to reduce the temperature and allow to simmer for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, switch the heat off and add in your milk powder mixture. Give it a really good mix until well combined. Once mixed through, you are now going to add in 1 teaspoon of cardamom powder and 1 teaspoon of rose water. Give this a good mix once again. This is the texture that you are looking for and if by any chance your mixture looks much harder, you want to add in a few tablespoons of water and mix through. This happens due to overcooking the syrup. You now want to leave the mixture overnight covered. The next day, at this point, your barfi mixture will look quite firm and hard. Don't be alarmed at this, it's normal. We are just going to break portions out of the barfi mixture and I am going to add it now to a stand mixer. You are going to add all the mixture into a stand mixer and we are going to beat this until light fluffy and soft. So the mixture took me about between 5 to 7 minutes to get it onto this texture and uh, as you can see I've completed beating the barfi mixture and um, this is what it should look like. Texture wise as you can see now it's softened up really nicely. It's nice and pale and creamy and it's really nice and soft. So with this barfi, you can pipe it, you can scoop it, you can create blocks and wrap them in cling wrap for individual servings or you can place it in a tray lined with cling wrap and then cut into blocks and serve. I am just going to scoop out my mixture as you can see and you are going to scoop all of it onto a grease proof paper. I have topped mine with ground pistachios and an edible rose. You can decorate your barfi according to the way you like it. Thanks for watching.